You are listening to Mets Kingdom. I'm your host, Luigi Ball, and welcome to episode four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Luigi Ball. You can call me LB. I want to wish you a good morning. I have coffee in hand, hazelnut creamer, and a corn muffin today too. Yes, I'm enjoying myself even though I didn't enjoy the last three games too much. Today I want to talk about the series against the Marlins. First off, can we delete game one? I would just love to delete game one. Mets lost 10 to 3 and Mets was terrible. 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 I don't know if it was the nine days rest. I don't know if he's um, still hanging over from spring training where he was a mess. But something's wrong with him right now. Just like Harvey's really not pitching that well. And, you know, I know they'll get it together. I'm not in panic mode. I'm not Mets Twitter right now flipping out all over the place. I know we'll get it going. It's early in the season. There's other teams struggling too that are good. It's happened before to teams. No problem. But we do have to talk about the games. Um, This game one was horrible, like I said. Uh, I didn't want to watch it. I watch it all just because, you know, I want to upload some podcast and have some fun with you guys. So I said, you know what, let me stick let me stick it out here one through nine and, and let's just watch all nine innings. And some of you guys get to turn off the game. I don't want to turn it off because, you know, I want to watch it. I want to watch it for me and I want to watch it for you guys, whoever's out there listening to me, you know. All right, let's go through Matt's rundown here. He only got five outs. That's it. Five outs. Gave up six hits, seven runs, two walks, a home run to Stanton. He was terrible. He he was terrible, you know. Um, He said there was no excuse after the game. He said he's been pitching since he was like eight years old, you know. But reality is, listen, we're all different. It's just It's just part of life. We are all different. One pitcher is different from another. There's 7 billion people on earth and we're all different. Some pitchers can handle a nine days, nine days off and they'll actually enjoy it and come back strong, throwing a hundred, you know, whatever. Some pitchers can't handle it. Been watching baseball since I was a little kid and some pitchers don't like not even one day more than what they're supposed to be resting. Some pitchers could pitch on three days rest. Some can't. It's just reality. We're not making bad excuses or good excuses. We're talking about reality. And as the years pass by, you know, in the months and the weeks, well, we'll know more about our pitchers and our hitters and especially our pitchers because the pitching staff is just coming together now, pretty much. So we'll learn more about Mats. You know, maybe next time when they're going to give him too much days off, they'll think about, they'll think about it twice. And they'll say, look, we can't give Mats nine days off again. Or oh, he's going to get rocked. And we're going to (laughs) suffer. Boy, did I suffer. I thought it was never going to end. Like I said, can we delete this game? Oh, my Lord, I would love to delete this game. Is it deletable? It's not deletable. I know this isn't this isn't a video game. Look, we started off the first inning. Good. You know, our hitting is, is, is horrendous right now. The lineup is just not hitting altogether. Will they hit? I know they'll hit. I'm not a negative. I know they'll hit. This team is good. This is basically the same team from last year with better fielding at second base and shortstop. So, and and the bench is solid too. So I know we're going to hit. The game started off great. You know, we're facing an ace, Jose Fernandez, young dude. He's like 23, throws heat, off speed, curveball. He he has it all. And um, Curtis Granderson leaves off with a double, right walks, which I'm getting used to him being on base now. I started off the first podcast or second podcast saying how he's not catching up to the fastball. You know what? He's adjusted. He's hitting doubles. He's walking. He's getting base hits. He's getting on base. And then after we get those first two on, Cespedes strikes out. Duda hits a line drive to center field, drives in the only run of the game. And then he gets, you know, it's okay. He gets caught at second going for two. That's all right. It happens. You know, like I said, everything hitting wise right now is not going the right way. You know, and then Neil Walker grounds out, you know, basically under the inning. You know, I know that midsummer, Granderson is on second, right, is on first, and we're scoring three or four runs. I just know it. It's going to happen. You're going to say, oh, yeah, LB, all right, okay, no problem. No, well, you know, you, you, you might be panicking. I'm not panicking. I know that later in the season, 
everything's gonna be okay look the astros are three and six right now you actually think they're gonna stay playing baseball like that you see what i mean there's other good teams out there struggling the astros are three and six the astros they have a good team houston has a good team and but right now they're struggling too it happens you know toronto's four and five they're a playoff team so it's you know it's 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 just part of it you know every year it happens to a couple of teams out there and they have to turn it on later during the season it happens i just wish we could delete this game all right um anything good come from this game like i said right had two hits he had a walk he had a double and he scored a run cespedes has two hits a run and an rbi so it was basically the right cespedes show in the fourth inning they had like three consecutive hits right cespedes and duda we scored like three runs that inning normally i'm telling you that would be four or five six runs just like we were doing in the second half last year we're gonna turn this around don't worry about it. We are going to turn this around. It's going to happen. about game two game two guess who was on fire you know it. you saw it mr thor Syndergaard, noah i don't care how you want to call him he pitched seven innings seven hits a walk he only allowed one run and struck out 12 on sliders fastballs sinking fastballs you call it he did it what forget about it this guy was ac dc electric what this guy was on fire i loved it oh man watching this guy pitch is amazing on the other hand hitting was terrible again hitting was terrible again jose fernandez shut us down for five innings and we had him i mean he didn't shut us down we, we got a run but we, we had him there were moments where we had him in the first couple of innings and we couldn't do it. Come on now. We couldn't do it. Oh, wow. Yeah, Cespedes had a hit and a walk. And, and he hit a home run. And you would say, no, he didn't. Well, he hit a home run. He hit a ball so hard. But, I mean, the wind was blowing in. It was blowing in. Knocked it right out of the air. It was blowing in. The crowd saw a home run. The, the the booth saw the home run. I saw the home run. Everybody saw the home run. It wasn't a home run. We knocked it down. And well, so Cespedes is starting to hit the ball. You know, and he's going to hit. He's going to hit. This is Cespedes. This is what we signed him for. He's going to hit. So again, I know it was another loss. It was heartbreaking. You know, that, that, that inning where Gordon just started fouling the ball off. Jim Henderson and just fouling it off and fouling it off. Fastball after fastball it was like... It was like 16 pitches. Supposedly, I read somewhere, it was the longest in franchise history. And then he just laid a little soft single to left on a slider. And Jim Henderson lost it right there. He lost the battle. He was throwing fastballs. Who knows? We could second guess him and say, why don't you just keep throwing your 95, 96 mile an hour fastball? Hey, he tried to get him on a slider. I, I have no problem with it. You know? Problem is, D. Gordon's on base. You know what he does? He steals bases. He's, he's, he's in scoring position. Guys drive him in. We lost 2-1. Another heartbreaker. It destroys me that Noah couldn't get the win. It, it's not even that much about us turning the season around because I know we will. It's about these wins, see, because Noah, Noah can have a Cy Young type season because he started, he's starting off hot. He doesn't need to catch up like the Grom where he's throwing only 90-91. And, you know, maybe he has a small dead arm or something like that. And maybe later on he'll get on. Harvey's not on. Matt's not on. So, but when a pitcher starts off the season hot like Noah has, we're talking maybe Cy Young caliber season. Wouldn't it be beautiful? Wouldn't it be beautiful? This kid is so young. What a live arm he has. But, you know, this game was, was it. I don't even know what to tell you because the hitting it's the hitting we could have more wins right now besides that 10 to to it, it felt like they scored 20 runs but i know they only scored 10 that's besides that 10 to 3 game 
we could have a couple of more wins. The Nationals are winning, but it's early, so I'm not, you know, I'm not going to freak out here. All right? I'm not going to freak out here. You know, then we move on to game three. Game three, we had a 2-1 win. The Grom couldn't pitch. They skipped his start. You know, the problem with the lot. You know, I guess they're just, I know there's people mad. Why don't they put him on a DL or whatever? Well, then he would miss a second start. Hey, they're the ones that know. All right? So just forget about it and just move on with it. Logan Verrett was awesome today. He picked six innings. They got three hits off him, only two walks. He struck out six, no runs. We have pitching. We have pitching. You know, there was a small problem there with Jim Henderson coming in in the seventh inning. I'm not going to lie to you. When he came in, I said, wow, another day? All right. Well, let's see, you know. But, hey, they're trying it out, you know. They're trying him out. Now they know. You know, trial and error, you know. Let's not be so judgmental. Trial and error. We've all done it. We learn off our errors. So TC and the coaching staff should learn off this error. He can't go after a day. He pitches 33 pitches or 34 pitches. He can't go. All right? He just can't go. Uh, Flores is playing first base and third. I love it. And he looks good at both. He looks good at both. I mean, he turned a 3-6-3 three, three double play today. You know, that was the first time that D. Gordon has ever grounded into a 3-6-3 three, three double play. First time. Because he's a speedster. And it's usually hard. You know, you hit the ball to first. By the time it comes back, you know, comes back to first to the first baseman, usually the dude is there already. You know, either sliding in or, or, or just normally run it out. But Flores turned it well he turned it very well he looks good out there and i mean keith hernandez only gave him one lesson i know the coaching staff is giving him lessons and stuff so it's not all keith hernandez but but i mean he did well i, I like him everywhere he also finished the game at second base duda came in so we, we have a bench we have a team everybody relax we won this game all right and now who knows what we're gonna do in cleveland all right now we're facing some pretty good pitchers in cleveland all right this is not a pushover team Let's see who we got over in Cleveland we got to face. We got to face Cody Anderson. We should hit this guy. Josh Tomlin, we should hit this guy too. I mean, not that they're, they stink. They're good. But the only real killer here is Corey Kubler. Third game. XI Young winner. This guy, I've seen him. This guy is good. If you haven't seen him, we're going to see him game three. So hopefully we could take the first two. And then I'll be happy if we lose game three, all right? We got Cologne going first game, ba-boom. We got Matt Harvey going game two. Hopefully he turns it around. I always have faith he could turn it around. And then Matt's game three on regular day's rest. So hopefully he comes back strong. He didn't throw too many pitches that, that first start anyway. All right, and Mets, Mets Twitter, relax. Take a deep breath and relax, all right? Okay, I know I go crazy sometimes too, especially when Cespedes dove into the stands for that foul ball. I said, okay, he broke something. Here we go. Three months out. I almost cried. He says he has discomfort in his knees and elbows, but that he should be ready to play for the Cleveland series. All right. They say he doesn't hustle. That look like hustling to me. I love the way he runs the bases. And this team is good. This team is good. Just because we're three and five right now does not mean that we're not good. Like I said before, the Astros are back off to a bad start. Doesn't mean they're not good. Our bullpen is good. Robles came in. He was great. What? I mean, forget about it. He was excellent. Robles came in in a bad situation after Henderson and proceeded to strike out the next two guys. Bam, bam. He's part of the reason we won. And a big hit by Plowecki. And I've seen Mets Twitter. I've seen how they treat Plowecki. Oh, he can't hit. Hey, this guy's a hitter. He's been a hitter all his life. All throughout the minors. But he just doesn't play. It's hard to just come in after three, four, five days off and just, oh, here, here take the bat play. Now, every guy can do that. Got a big hit today after a Flores hit and a Cabrera hit. It was second and third, and he got a huge hit. Huge hit. He's another reason why we went today. Flores leading off the inning was another reason. Cabrera, all right? They did good today. Flores was in it today. See, it's because it's a team game. It's a team game. We can say whatever we want. Oh, we need Cespedes to hit 50 homers and all that. Look, reality is, is that it's a team game. And we need everybody to be in there. We need everybody to do good, all right? 
right had a hit today and a walk like i said before i'm getting used to this granderson had another hit so hopefully he's out of the funk walker had a hit uh flores got that big hit Cabrera had two hits today that's another guy everybody's killing already oh why we sign him he's this he's that would you give guys a break you know and Plawecki also had a walk today walks are good I hear people saying oh but he doesn't get hit oh, would you, walks are good all right they lead to huge innings if the guys hit around them you know what I mean we were three for nine in uh, with runners in scoring position today that's better better than what we've been doing all week and that double play by Flores, can't say enough about it. It was awesome. Familia comes in, gets five outs for the save. He's done it before. It's another thing people freaking out, saying, why is he pitching five outs? There's that. TC's managing like it's the World Series. There's a day off today. There is a day off today. So all the arms in the bullpen rest. Sometimes I think people just watch the games and they have no knowledge of the game. There's a day off. Pitch them. Get them in there. Five outs. Everybody. Robles again. Get in there. Yeah. Henderson might have been the only blip. But now he knows. All right. Now he knows. TC's not an idiot. Now some of the people on Mets Twitters. Not going to say anything. I'll just stop it right there. Not going to say anything. I want nobody being hurt. Anyway, speaking of Twitter. You can find me on Twitter. I'm Luigi Ball. All right. That's my Twitter handle. Mets Twitter. Relax, please. Add me. Let's have some fun. I tweet here and there. I don't tweet all day. I don't tweet all night. I just tweet specific things sometimes. And that's about it. Hey, I've had fun. Love you guys. I'm hearing from from some of you guys already. All right. And um, hope more people start listening. You know, we can have some chats, you know. Maybe later on, you know, months down the line or weeks, whatever. You know, I'm not planning anything. Maybe I could go live. And, you know, just forget about it, man. Let's just do this. Come on now. We got this. We got this a long season. Everybody relax. Usually this is the part where I tell you that the beats are from Silent Pain on YouTube. Yes, he does most of my beats. But this beat that you're listening to right now, this beat is by me. Now, it took me a long time to do this because I'm not a beat maker. All right. But came from my heart, came from my spirit, came from my mind. And, you know, we're doing this together. All right. Let's go Mets. Let's come back. Oh, on another note, not baseball related, Kobe Bryant dropped 60 points in his final game. And the Golden State Warriors went 73-9. and Good day in sports. Good day in sports yesterday. And the Mets won. That's the most important one for us. The Mets won. Oh, and uh, it wasn't such a great day. The New York Rangers lost. Actually got destroyed. Hopefully we come back next game. Thinking about doing some uh, New York Rangers shows too. All right? All right, God bless. Have yourself a good day. Enjoy it. See ya.